I know that yesterday was a particularly difficult day for many of us in the tech community after Google held their Pixel 10 launch event hosted by James Fallon. But I do have some exciting news that I think probably slipped through the cracks for many of us in the tech world. Google has begun an entirely new beta for Android 16, quarterly platform release number two, Beta 1 is here, and there are several pretty cool features that we're going to look at in today's video, and a couple of these are things I have been begging for for literally years. I'm very excited. As always, you can opt into this beta on your Pixel devices. I'll put a link in the description down below. You simply scroll down and opt in with your device of choice. If you are currently on the QPR 1 beta, and you want to leave without wiping your device, this would be your time to go ahead and click that opt out button. Now be aware, you're going to be sent an update to your device after doing this, which will be a downgrade and it will explicitly say, this update will wipe your device. Don't install it, just ignore it. And eventually, it may be a little while, be patient, the stable version of QPR1 will roll out, your device will get that. It won't say anything about wiping your device. You can install that and carry on happily running QPR1. If you just let things keep going, it will automatically update to QPR2, beta 1, and now you are stuck in that until it is stable in a couple of months. So with that out of the way, here we are looking at my Pixel Fold, my first gen Pixel Fold. This tends to be my beta device. And we're gonna start off with a brand new multitasking feature, a brand new split screen feature, 90-10 split. I've shown you this on my Z Fold 7, and in this beta, it is here on your Pixel devices. So let me show you how this works. If we open up an application and then we grab our taskbar and we open up a second application, we'll just do the Play Store. Let's drag that into place. Now what you can do is grab this handle and you've always been able to resize the app and now you can drag it way over here and let it go. And what you will now have is what is effectively a full screen application here. And if you tap this other app, it's gonna slide over and give you another full screen application. This is very, very similar to OnePlus's Open Canvas or the Oppo Find in 5's Boundless View. Now it is restricted to just two applications, but it does work very, very well. And it should help improve some of this split screen multitasking, even on your older original Pixel Fold. Really, really cool. Next up, if we head into our system settings and we look for display and touch, I believe that's where this is. Yes, enhanced HDR brightness. Oh my Lord, am I excited to see this. Brighten and expand the color range and clarity in dynamic range images and videos. HDR content will appear brighter. And it kind of gives you like a simulation here what that's going to be like. And on my actual phone, you can see it a little bit better. Maybe I can show you that. I'll just show you in some B-roll. You can see that the HDR stuff is way, way brighter than the other stuff. It's not that everything else is dimmer. It's that the HDR stuff is simply brighter. And what this tends to mean for me is I'm scrolling through threads or Instagram or whatever it might be, and I come across a piece of content that is HDR, and it just blinds you out of nowhere. It's so much brighter than it needs to be. I cannot stand HDR content. So now I can turn that off, or I can at least just kind of like lessen the effect of it a little bit, dial it down. So maybe it's a little hdr -y, but not too crazy. I'm turning it off. I cannot stand that. So happy I can disable it now. Here's another one to file in the category of thank goodness it is finally here. If you long press on your home screen and go into wallpaper and style, we have had an option for a while under icons to theme our icons. They pick up the colors used in Material U. But the problem is I've literally never been able to use this because about half of my icons do not theme. They do not have a themed version. That is no longer a problem. If you click on minimal, what is going to happen now is every single icon is going to be themed. If the icon does not have a themed compatible version, Google shifts it to grayscale and then colorizes it. This is my own personal app. I'm a hypocrite. I have not made a themed version of my icon. I don't need to now, though. They have fixed it for me. You can now 
Just theme your icons and they all get themed. Oh my lord. Ugh. If we jump back into display and go into lock screen, we now have an option widgets on lock screen. When you turn this on and then you lock your phone, if you swipe over, you will get to this little widget panel on your lock screen. Now this is like playing stuff from YouTube. I'm, I'm gonna pause that, but this is different. This is a widget thing. If you long press and then unlock the device, you can actually customize these lock screen widgets. You can add different things here. Let's say you want your Google Home widget right there on your lock screen. You can do that now. Boom, there you go. Can I actually resize this? I believe that I can. Yeah, look at that. So now whenever I'm done, that is just on my lock screen over to the side. Now on my cover display, things look a little bit weird, like it's up too far, but this is at least a good step in that direction. Pretty cool. Heading into some less exciting things under always on display, they've added a graphic that shows you what the always on display is going to look like. It's weird that that wasn't there in the past, but it's there now. If you go to add a widget to your home screen, rather than this saying, I think it was suggested, now it says featured. So that is a very, very slight redesign. If you scroll down to, I think it's under Google. It's actually not under Google. It's just under users. They have a new users widget where you can switch between different users on your device and they have also redesigned that widget. On our home screen, if you long press on an app icon, you now do have a remove button rather than having to drag it up to the remove option up top. You can just click on the remove button. That's a nice quality of life change. And under the screensaver option, if you scroll down, there is now a low light mode. On slash low light clock will show when your environment is in the dark. So another kind of small thing, just a nice quality of life change. But overall, the top three things, 90-10 split is awesome. This really does continue to enhance the multitasking on Pixel devices. We still don't have a floating window solution, which is crazy. It's the end of 2025, but whatever, we're getting other things, I guess. The ability to stop the flash bangs of HDR is awesome. Forced icon theming is an absolute godsend. Lock screen widgets is pretty cool as well. For the beginning of this QPR2 beta, there is a lot there to already like. As with any beta, stability will be a question. This is a beta one. You will run into bugs, so if you want this to be on your daily driver, proceed with caution. There is a decent chance you're going to install it. It's going to be crashy, it's going to be buggy, and you're going to have to wipe your device to get back off of it. If you have a secondary device, do it on that one. So guys, if you've already installed this beta, do some digging around. If you find anything that I missed, drop a comment down below so that we will know that it is there. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more content just like this, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.